Hi there guys, Dr. Pet here, and today I'm doing an app review for Google Chrome, which is out on iOS and App Store. Okay, everything looks familiar. You have the tabs. When you open up the app, it opens the splash page for Google Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and load YouTube real quick. And as you see, it just shows the mobile version. If you go down to desktop, it still brings up no flash. So... Even though it's Google Chrome, there's no flash. So let's go ahead and open some tabs just to see. See how that works. And if you slide left to right, then you'll see your mobile bookmarks if that's synced or if you want to add some. On the address bar to the right of the microphone, if you click on that, you can do a new incognito tab. So when you browse an incognito, you won't see search history, browser history, or cookies. None of that stuff is left behind. When you're incognito, you'll see a little spy dude in the top left hand corner by the tabs. And if you tap on the top right hand corner, it'll go back to regular browsing if you like. Now one of the greatest things about Google Chrome is that you can do voice search. Do you like pie? There it is. The do you like pie test. <laughs> it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work most of the time. Let's go ahead and try it again. Mad Finger Games. Mad Finger Games. See, now I can look at Mad Finger Games, which I just did an app review for the new game Dead Trigger. I'm going to go ahead and give this five stars, even though it doesn't have Flash on it. That's not really something Google planned. That's more Apple's thing. It works pretty well, and it's just as fast as Safari, if not faster. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!